What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DJ Ab McCrea, Track Camp ET. And today we got a new TM88 Music Theory. And this is part five. And we'll talk about what we're going to talk about in a second. Um, more importantly, we're going to play this track. So in three, two, one, it's going to be loud. So turn it down, put your headphones on, you know the scope. So counting down in three, two, one. So, um, just that last part there, there was a noticeable difference. And what we're going to talk about now is climaxing the beat. And this is actually very, very, very requested. A lot of people always request uh, how to progress your tracks and stuff like that. I know um, TM88 Music Theory 4 was about percussion. Uh, it was supposed to be progression, per percussion, progression. Uh, but it ended up being just percussion because the kit was out. And for those who don't know, there's a kit for this. It's on my website. And I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all what it will look like. So bear with me. That is the kit. Um, it is on sale at djmccree.net. And if you look around and you have to be in the right spot, there is a discount code. And uh, yeah. But anyways, let me go ahead and get back to the screen cam. Bop. But anyways, like I was saying, there are uh, there's a noticeable change, and if you if you haven't noticed, it didn't buckle. Uh, I actually got some uh, some peaceful words of advice from somebody to actually uh, bounce down the track. So yeah, so we're at this part right here. Oh, no, that's not it. And before we talk about that, we're going to we're going to talk about the actual the what how climaxing your track, what the importance is of climaxing your track. Now, the, your arrange naturally, most people's arrangements are usually either uh, 16 bar verses or 16 bar verses eight bar hooks um <clears throat> now in music now uh in 2015 or even 2014 uh, it's tw 12 bar verses and eight bar hooks wow almost forgot myself so but you know that that's the usual format um one of the things uh that i do like to do in tracks are kind of bridge just like something that makes something different you know it follows the same uh, chord progression as any part, other part of the beat or whatnot, but it gives it a different uh, texture in which 
the artist will know that it's like a chorus part or even might pick that out as a chorus part uh, in the track. Because in general, and I find this very difficult with artists in general, is is you will make a track and they tend to either rap in the wrong places, you know, so you kind of have to give them leeway. So in the beginning of the track, let's, let's go to just from the beginning. I'm not even going to go from the hook. We'll talk about the other part, which makes the, uh, you know, the progression uh, so climatic at that part of the hook. But here we go. We're just going to go right here. So basically, you know, you could just start off with a four bar. And I think that's more important because you don't, you want to get people into the track. So it's one. But let me start this. Uh, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And the reason why I'm counting that fast is because it, it, we're in double time. So, you know, the count is going to be faster. So that's four. That's really four bars. So, you know, and uh, yeah, I don't know why I stopped it. So basically this part right here, and I, hopefully you can hear me, then this is the hook. So basically that's the hook. I don't, I don't know why I'm just going I'm not going to play all through it, but so basically, you know, four bar beginning, eight bar hook. And what what that does in essential, it actually actually acts as a placebo effect for when you are actually selling tracks as well for you to have your uh beats uh formatted like this because the sooner you get into the track, the better. Uh <clears throat> and sometimes it's it's good to have the meat of the track up front. Um, there's the, the only drawback is if your chorus is like this, uh, uh, like that after the 12 or 16 bar verses, it might not, it might not, uh, connect very well with the overall audience. Um, uh, one thing for me observing TM88 and I just saw like a video of him, uh, working with 50 and I'm like, and it motivated the shit out of me, uh, excuse my French, but <sighs> Like the track that he was working on with Fifty, it had so it it was so di uh, it was the same, but it was so different in every part. It it makes me uh it makes me and I'm pretty sure everybody else want to push the envelope on your tracks and not just try to sound the same on every track. You know what I mean? Or every part of your beat, and it's very important too. But yeah, so. <laughs> So basically eight bars right there. And then we're going to get we'll go to this part right here. And this is also an important part. We're at eight minutes and nine seconds. So I'll uh, kind of speed this up. And that one part right there with the bass, um, that's actually taught in the second TM88 uh, music theory. And that's a uh, delayed bass. And... No, what that what it, that is in particular is this right here. As you see, uh, instead of just it's it's more effective to draw out your bass than it is just automate automated. It's actually actually easier as well. And you know, I'm not uh, saying I dubbed that because obviously TM88. Uh, <clears throat> I heard it from a TM88 track. I thought it was fly, and it obviously is fly because you play it. <laughs> So basically, I just drew out uh, that ending right here, that triplet ending, and just made it singles. And, you know, two beats, I believe, is like the count. And then, you know, I right, uh, right clicked on that part uh, right here, the little empty area right there, and selected Note Pan. If you look at Note Pan, or if you're listening to it on speakers, headphones, you can notice it panned, the Note Pan. And what that and what that does uh, in the sense, I'm gonna play that part again. It introduces that space, and it will get an artist like to, it just get them in there. You know what I'm saying? Like I I can see uh, Ethan Sachi, um, <clears throat> which is I, I think is probably one of the, dope, the one of the dopest rappers out here in Atlanta right now, to be honest, uh, from the new rappers. Uh, 
It, get somebody like a, you know, uh, eat the sausage, like lo uh, load it up to do do his thing or whatnot. <clears throat> yeah. Matter of fact, I, I, I've actually been working on because by request, people have been requesting Ethan. I talked to Ethan. I was like, man, hey, man, uh, you want to do some boxing stuff for me? So I got a few boxes uh, started. It was a little lazy. It, it was a little, a little lazy. It's a little early. We're still working on it, but, you know. <laughs> and that is actually time sync. So whatever, no matter how far you go, you got a little bit of Ethan. <laughs> And that's coming up in this update for uh, the drum kit, too. So if you already got the drum kit, you're fine. If you plan on buying the drum kit and you miss out on it uh, when I load it up, I will send the update to everybody. So so that was a little off topic. Let me go speed up this walkthrough real quick. <laughs> And that particular sound right there is, yeah, see, I got just muted it because I couldn't play. I wouldn't be able to play this track. This track has too much going on. Uh, now I'm trying to load it up here. This is Obscurium. Uh, this is not something that TM88 uses. This is something brand new to the market. Um, I will be doing a few, uh, a full review after this part of the stream. And there we go. I've already did an overview on this, but yeah, this, this I mean, this particular thing right here is, it's, it's going to change music. It's going to change music. And let me go. I think I could go to the actual part, but yeah, this, this is what I used. Uh, as far as that is, uh, because, because it's muted or I unmuted it right now for right now, <clears throat> this particular track itself, uh, this thing itself is amazing. So, yeah, but that's where that melody come from, uh, comes from. I suggest everybody look at the the overview, uh, the overview I did on this plugin. But yeah, that that's that. And um, by the way, this is the probably gonna be the last. Uh, me and me and J W Lucas uh, did this together, and this probably be the last track that me me and I, I share like a collaboration until like further notice. Um, <clears throat> on this channel, I kind of want to get back into, you know, uh, doing other things. So, uh, but yeah, it, there's a couple of things in here. As you can notice, like, just like when you have certain subtle things done at the beginning of that, and this, that was the first, actually, the first eight bars of like the rap, uh, rapper or singer's part, um, <clears throat> and it's very climatic, uh, climatic there as well. I'm just gonna go to this part right here, and you notice that I didn't have any hi hats or anything like that running through it. Um, <clears throat> just pure eight oh eight and a snip, but it'll pick up right here. That choir lead was actually done in uh, Obscurium as well. Um, it, it was a combo. It was actually a combo of Obscurium uh, while hosting Reifex Nexus. <laughs> that plugin is crazy. I'm telling you, so worth the uh, the hundred dollars that is being only charged for right now. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so that's like the changing part. Like they would know. Like anybody would know that that is like some type of a hook or something you know so that 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 builds up the cli uh the climate of the track i'm just gonna go right here and it actually has a lot of percussion stuff so the percussion that that i can't make the sound but if you hear it right here that that sound right there that uh that's actually been that was taught in the last lesson as well, as far as percu uh, percussion, using percussion to progress. So we're gonna just go a little forward to right here, cause this is the good stuff. And we're at, uh, almost at 
15 minutes. So I'm going to kind of close it up here. <laughs> And then I may I rediscovered like a technique that I used to do because back in the day, like 808s was kind of weak and how we used to do it uh, to make our 808s harder. We used to layer our 808s. And in a nutshell, I forgot how good that is. And I forgot that it was possible because and usually when you have two like sounds, like sometimes when you have like a subwoofer or a bass guitar, it will carry uh, the same harmonic frequencies. It causing it to have like a, a, a non-pleasing like feel like most, most people call it muddy, but it's like an, an unpleasant, an unpleasant uh, feel, a homogenous uh, unison to where the, the sound will actually go in and out. Like your subwoofer will either overtake your bass or, or they'll fight each other. So it will kind of sound kind of groggy. But if you actually listen to this and uh 808s have in pacific characteristics they are one the same so they actually boost each other's uh levels decibels or what uh or what have you so they're they're like the same but they're not the like and sine waves being as pure as they are uh in sound you can actually uh plus uh you can add a sine wave um in a, in a way, this is kind of like FMing each other, like they're freak, they're modulating each other. So if you listen to this part, you see how clean that was. Even though it, it's like one t teensy imperfection in it, but. It really didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, so, but, but anyways, that, that's pretty much the lesson. Uh, you know, I could actually show that part. As you see, this this is like the original bass right here, which is this is in the trap camp kit, <clears throat> and that's just my uh, sunny digital bass. So yeah, that's in there. And then on top of that, I used Big Bang Theory. And I'm pretty sure everybody wants to know the preset in that for that bass. Yeah, that's uh, Jesus Christ. Wow, that's, <laughs> wow, what a name, uh, but yeah. No, that's basically it, man. Dang, 18 minutes in. Um, but I appreciate everybody for their time. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you have any questions, get, ask me any questions. Hopefully, I did answer them. And it wasn't just out of in vain. I just want to walk people through a uh, progression of tracks because people have kept asking me. Um, leave a comment. I already said that. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, I have more videos and plenty of playlists where I talk about uh, more stuff in detail. And this is your boy, DJ McCree, and, I, and I'm out.